Hi, I'm Kim Petrie from the Dynamics V65 Fast Track team. Welcome to this tech talk on patient outreach solution that forms part of the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare. The introduction will provide an overview of the patient outreach solution and its dependencies, followed by a walkthrough in the system of creating a patient segment, creating a marketing email, creating a patient journey, and viewing a virtual healthcare marketing event. Introduction Enhanced Patient Engagement The Patient Outreach Solution focuses on the enhanced patient engagement priority scenario by creating personalised communication based on patient insights. Patient Outreach Key Capabilities Patient Outreach is a patient campaign management app that helps organise and automate marketing and outreach to patients. It enables healthcare providers to communicate with their communities and patients in a targeted, efficient way. Providers can use their choice of email, SMS, regular mail, or a combination to provide healthcare information to specific groups of patients and community members. The Patient Outreach app provides a template that leverages industry standards for patient segmentation and campaign management, helping you to reach patients with specific conditions in a more targeted manner. The key capabilities of Patient Outreach include patient segmentation, Pre-built patient segments based on industry standard HEDIS to provide baseline patient cohorts. Patient engagement campaigns. Create healthcare specific email campaigns that use pre-built patient segments. Event management. Use provider payer event management templates for event administration and registration. The patient outreach app enhances Dynamics 365 marketing with its healthcare specific capabilities as part of the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare. <laughs> Why use patient engagement? There are a multitude of reasons to use patient engagement, so let's take a closer look at two common user stories and how they would be implemented. As a patient engagement manager, I want an automated process to identify patients who often miss appointments and inform them of virtual visit options so that I can improve access to care for those patients. Using the dynamic segmentation capability, you can automatically identify the patients that often miss an appointment. This can be used in a recurring journey that will automatically email virtual visit sign-up information to patients. Patient engagement will then track the patient interaction with these emails, increasing your patient care as well as providing insight as to how successful these notifications are. As a patient event manager, I want to organise a healthcare event and automatically inform patients who are most suitable to attend so I can improve patient awareness of the conditions and best ways to treat it. Patient engagement assists the event manager in setting up and organising the event, including session planning, venues, speakers and teams involved in the event planning and execution, the event website, as well as budgeting for the event. Segmentation can then be used to define the right audience. Journeys can then be used to inform patients of the event, as well as sending them reminders leading up to the event. Patient engagement will automatically track engagement with the emails, as well as interactions with the event site. Leading up to the event, you will be able to see the registrations for the event as well as waiting lists and also track attendance and event passes that have been issued during the event. Not only will you improve patient care, but it will also improve insights into event planning and execution to debrief the event teams and improve execution going forward. Solution Dependencies each Dynamics 365 healthcare solution has dependencies on other Microsoft apps and features that might require additional licensing. These dependencies can be divided into two categories. Pre-deployment. For a list of dependencies required to deploy the healthcare solutions, go to the prerequisite section in the deployment topic. Microsoft's Cloud Solution Center lets you view these pre-deployment dependencies before deploying the solution. You can select Quick View for a particular solution to see its dependencies. The patient outreach solution has dependencies on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Marketing and Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Service. Post-deployment. You can configure additional capabilities for your healthcare solution after deployment 
such as integration with Teams, Microsoft Power BI, and Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer insights. The patient outreach solution can be configured to connect to Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer insights, which helps you build a deeper understanding of your patient by connecting data from various transactional, behavioral, and observational sources to create a 360 degree view of your patient, build complex segments, and have AI powered suggestions on segments based on patient outreach activities. Create a patient segment. Types of segments. A marketing segment is a collection of contacts that you target with a customer journey. In some cases, you target all the contacts you have, but in most cases, you'll choose who you want to target based on demographic, thermographic, behavioral data, and other considerations. Dynamic segments are set up using logical expressions such as patients from the Manchester Clinic or all patients who are registered for an event. Membership in a dynamic segment changes to constantly to reflect the new or removed patients and updated patient information. Static segments establish a static list of patients who are selected on a per patient basis rather than created logically based on field values. Segments can have blocks of queries based on profiles, interactions, or other segments. Profile blocks query the profile records stored in the Marketing Insight service. Profile records are synced between your Dynamics 365 organizational database and the Marketing Insight service. Profile records include the entities you normally work with in the Patient Outreach app, such as accounts, patients, and any other entities that you choose to sync. Behavioral blocks query the interaction records stored in the Marketing service. Each of these records is generated automatically and related to a specific patient record. Interaction records are accessed to generate the various insights displayed in the Patient Outreach app. Interaction records aren't synced to Dynamics 365 organizational database. They are generated in response to patient interactions such as opening an email, clicking on an email link, submitting a form, or registering for an event. Syncing entities with the marketing service. The ability to segment patients will be based on the data which is configured to be synchronized with the Dynamics 365 marketing service. To ensure all the entities you require are included in the data export profile, first open the marketing application, go to settings, then to dataset configuration. Once the entities load, select all the entities you require and then publish your changes. While it may take up to 30 minutes for the changes to take effect, they are generally ready in a few minutes. Creating a segment. In this example, I will show you how to create a patient segment within the Patient Outreach app. I will create a patient segment for patients with hypermetropia. First, we'll open the Patient Outreach app, then navigate to Segments on the left-hand navigation bar, create a new dynamic segment. And in this case, we'll choose to skip the use of a template. We'll name the segment, and then we'll add a query box. Leaving contact as the main entity, we will select all contacts with the status of active. We will add a related entity to the dropdown. In this case, we're looking for the condition entity. And then there, we're going to look for conditions where the name contains the term hypermetropia. Once this has been added, we will then be able to save the new segment and select publish to go live. You will not be able to use a segment in a customer journey until it goes live, even though you've saved it. Once the segment is live, if you wait around a minute and click refresh, you will see that there's a members tab has been added where you can click to see the members and view which patients have been added to the dynamic segment. Create a marketing email. Marketing emails. Marketing emails work quite differently from person to person messaging. Marketing email messages tire an entire market segment, but each message is individual. 
your messages aren't just standard messages with giant two or BCC fields. In patient outreach, you will target a single email message designed to an entire patient segment, but each individual message is personalized for each patient and delivered one at a time from your organization to the recipient. Mail merge features enable personalized and dynamic content. You can design your message to include information that gets personalized for each recipient. For example, each delivered message might include the patient's name or other content, which varies based on the recipient's gender, location, status, or other information from your contact database. Personalized features such as these can greatly improve your patient outreach. Marketing email messages are hosted by the marketing service, so you must go live rather than just send messages. Live messages are hosted by the marketing service linked to your patient outreach instance, where they are kept ready to be personalized and sent to individual recipients any number of times. Required content and automated error checking help improve deliverability and ensure compliance. When you try to go live with a message, the system checks for common technical errors and makes sure it includes all required content. <laughs> create a marketing email. In this example, I will show you how to create a marketing email that we used to reach out to patient segments that were created previously. In the patient outreach app, scroll to the marketing execution on the left-hand pane and click marketing emails. In the active marketing emails, you can create a new email from a template, but today I'm going to be reusing an existing one. So I will click save as on the command bar. I will then be able to change the name of this uh, email to something more suitable. In this case, it'll be a healthy eye seminar. And then I'll be able to update the description as well to represent and more accurately what this email is for. Once this is done, I will click save and close and navigate back to the marketing emails list where I should be able to see my newly created marketing email. As this will still contain the content from the previous marketing email that I copied, I will then open up the designer and start editing the email. First, I'll be replacing the image from a, for a more appropriate image from our, the image library, as well as updating all the details of the marketing email itself to represent this way new Healthy Eye seminar rather than the previous event. Once this has been completed and all the edits have been made, throughout the email description and the footer. We'll then have to save the email and then go live before it can be used. Create a patient journey. Patient journeys. A patient journey can expand your organization's patient outreach capabilities by helping you to guide the members of a selected segment through a marketing process by using automated messages, activity generation, interactive decision points, and more. Create a patient journey. In this example, I will show you how to create a patient journey that will be used to reach out to the patient segment and marketing email that we created previously. In the Patient Outreach app, scroll down to Marketing Execution on the left-hand pane and click Patient Journey. We'll create a new patient journey and skip the use of a template. In the Designer, under General, we will then choose the audience as the patients with hypermetropia segment that we created previously. We will then rename this journey to represent the Healthy Eye Seminar and save the record. Back on the designer view, we'll then select that we wish to send an email template. And in the panel on the right hand side, we'll be able to select the marketing email that we just created. We will then set on the general tab, the start and end date that matches the event so that the emails will go out to the patients within the segment at their appropriate time. 
The journey is now ready to go, so we will then save it and go live. The Dynamics 365 marketing copies all the journey and its emails to the marketing service, which will then execute the journey, performing actions and collecting results. Once this journey has um, successfully been uploaded, you will see it move from going live to live. Create a virtual healthcare marketing event. Event management. The Dynamics 365 marketing event management feature helps you every step of the way from initial planning and budgeting through promotion and publication, attendee registration, webinar broadcasting, final analytics, lead generation, and evaluation of the ROI. The key event management features include business processes that guide users through the essential steps of event planning, tracking sponsors and sponsorship for each event, session, session track, and speaker management, including guest logistics for registering hotels, room allocation, and reservations, venue management for tracking buildings, rooms, and room layouts, as well as creating Microsoft Teams webinars and live events. There is seamless contact, registration, and attendance management features in one system. This allows you to manage attendee passes to grant access to specific sessions or tracks, review the attendance history for each contact, including events and sessions attended, as well as full integration with Dynamics 365 customer voice for surveys. This also includes a fully functioning event website you can publish, which includes self-service attendee registration, important details about all published events, including event name, venue passes, session schedule, and speakers, as well as all event information are drawn directly from the Dynamics 365 marketing event planning records with updates automatically reflected on the event website. Virtual Healthcare Marketing Event In this example, I will show you what a virtual healthcare marketing event would look like once it's been configured in the system, based on the example in the patient journey we created previously. In the patient outreach application, I can open the event from the event management on the site map. In the general page, you already get an overview of the event with information on its schedule, its capacity and current registrations, as well as set up streaming for the event. But in this example, the event is going to be held at a convention center. The system allows you to create locations along with facilities the rooms, as well as their costs. When setting up an event, the business process flow guides the user on all the activities needed to coordinate an event from start to finish. This includes defining the main schedule and setting up the internal team, coordinating the sessions and speakers and sponsors for the agenda, organizing venue, rooms, catering and logistics, promoting the event using customer journeys, launching the event and sending reminders to the contacts, as well as post event activities like team debriefings. You can see the full agenda for the event, as well as the detailed planning for each session. This includes the start and end time for each session, as well as individual streaming for the session, which uh, room this session will be held in, as well as specific details on the session and as well as tracking the speakers of your event. If your event had an external website, you can link to this from the system, or if Power Portals has been used, then the event details will be taken directly from the data entered into the system. Once patients start registering for this event, you will be able to see in detail who has signed up, as well as attract the actual attendance during the event, including passes issued. The system on the additional information page also helps track costs for the events, as well as coordinating the team members that will be engaged in running and setting up the event. In the related pane, you can find access to other information that was mentioned on the previous slide, which can also be captured in the system. Thank you for watching this Tech Talk 
on the patient outreach solution that forms part of the Microsoft Cloud for Healthcare.